Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, can I carry a knife in Florida without a permit? In Florida, knives are considered weapons. Still, the only per se illegal knife is called a ballistic knife. Ballistic knives are self-propelled. The blade of a ballistic knife shoots out as a projectile. It physically separates from the rest of the device by way of a coil spring, elastic material, or compressed gas. In Florida, it's not only illegal to carry or to possess a ballistic knife, but it's also a crime to manufacture, display, sell, own, or use a ballistic knife. Apart from the ballistic variety, be it a Swiss Army knife, a Rambo tactical hunting knife, a folding pocket knife, a box cutter, a stiletto, or even a switchblade. Yes, switchblades are legal. In Florida, you can lawfully either open carry, meaning that your knife can be carried in such a way as to be seen by the casual observer, or you may conceal carry, meaning hidden from public view, a knife with only a few limitations. In Florida, you're only breaking the law by possessing a knife if one, you are a disqualified person, meaning that you're legally banned from possessing any weapon. For instance, you might be a convicted felon, a probationer, or subject to a domestic violence restraining order. Two, if you're carrying concealed or open a knife that's got a blade that's more than four inches long. Three, your intent in carrying the knife is, quote, obviously malicious. Or four, you're carrying in a prohibited place, for instance, a school or a government building where it's per se illegal to possess any weapon, which would include knives. So there's no ban on switchblades in Florida. You can open carry pretty much any knife that you wish, provided that you're neither a disqualified person nor in a prohibited place. That said, you might beat the rap, but you won't beat the ride. This means you can't get cuffed, arrested, face bond, legal fees, etc. if you're not in possession. Thus, my advice. Just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do it. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.